Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to The Wandering Village, a game where you build a village on the back of a huge dinosaur that wanders about. Yeah, sounds a bit weird, but it's blooming awesome. Let's resume where we left off last time. So this is where we got to. This is our Onbu, our magical creature that's got like a huge world on the back. And this is where we're building stuff. Now, in order to continue growing our village, we need resources. You can see we're, we're running out of resources. There's, there's no stone available. And basically, because we're on the back of our creature, we've got to be careful about what things we take. So down here, there's different sorts of rocks. Now, big boulders, we need a quarry to get rid of them. These little rocks, we can literally just press that button there. And then, can you see a balloon's popped out? That means it's marked to be picked up. And then there's also these ones, which are ombu spikes. They contain 30 stone. But as you can see there, they reduce ombu's trust. So I'm going to try and avoid them. I want to keep my ombu happy. And we're just going to go around. We're going to select loads of rocks to be picked up. We're going to select a load of trees to be chopped down as well. All right, and that's all good. Next up, if we head into our research tree, I think I'm going to unlock the dung collector next because that will lead to some important things like the sawmill and the quarry, uh, as well as tree nurseries and other things. Oh, man, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. So let's research that. Uh, and if that's built, that means our last research, I think, yeah, it was the horn blowers. Yeah, so let's build one of these. And you can see the only place to build it is like this strip here. Everywhere else has an X on it. Yeah, that's because we've, be, we've got to be close to Ombu's head so he can hear our commands. So we'll shove that there. Hopefully that will get built soon. Now let's just zoom right out so we can see the map. Are there any arid areas? Oh, hang on a second. Let's pause because they're waiting a decision. I think we went to the shrine. We sent our party out there to find. Yes, look, you've encountered a group of settlers looking for a new home. So we're going to pick them up, commit to that. And we've got three healthy people and two hungry people. Decent. All right, next up, we're going to send a party to the shrine. This is a place that holds an ancient artifact containing forgotten knowledge. Now, not entirely sure what that is, but if we zoom right in and then go to the research tree, it requires one knowledge to research. And I think knowledge, top right, the knowledge your tribe has gathered by exploring the world. So yeah, every time we send someone to a shrine, that should get us at least one knowledge, I hope. And then up here in our people tab, the population, we, we still haven't built enough houses actually. We've got 32 people, but only 30 houses. Now at the moment, people are living in these tents. So I think I'm just going to build a few more. Perhaps three more should do for now. Let's shove another water tank up there to make that very efficient. Because look, they're not making any water anymore. Put another pantry down. And then I should probably prep one of these, a mycologist. So basically, they allow us to plant mushrooms, which we can turn into ombu food. Because at the moment, ombu, he's, he's not that hungry. That's his food bar. He's a third hungry. If we zoom out, he's about to go over to this, which is an ombu feeding spot. Um, but they won't last forever. I think early on in the game, you're likely to see more of them than later on in the game. I think I'll grow mushrooms over here then. Particularly as there is already some mushrooms next to it. Seems like a good spot to me. All right, meanwhile at the front, we've built our horn now. You can see someone is in there ready. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna pause them for now. But what that means is when we get to a junction like there, uh, we can decide what way you want to go. So when we get closer, hopefully we should be able to see like where's the, where a good spot to go is. Um, and then we can tell Ombu to go left or go right. Oh, what's that noise? What's that noise? Have a look down. Look, Ombu's eating. He's eating the mushrooms. So that's good. That'll keep him there for a while. Him licking his chops. <laughs> right, I feel like it might be worth building another one of these. Another scavenger hut. I've got quite a lot of people. I don't think I have too many jobs going, if I'm honest. So let's wang another scavenger hut down there. What does that need to build? That needs planks and slabs. Now we've got enough planks. We don't have enough slabs. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unpause the stone cutter. And look, there's lots of people collecting stone over here. I love the graphics in this game. Every time I play it, I'm just like, oh, it's so good looking. Uh, so they're building that. You can see the scavenger hut stuff is going up. Once that's completed, someone will come and bash it with a hammer and then we'll all be good. Well, look, these two, Robert Reese and trying to be an engineer. <laughs> that's all we ask for, mate. That is all we ask for. They have returned. As it says down there, a scavenger party returned. They brought back one knowledge. Decent, lads. There's a ruined settlement there. We'll send a party over to that. And then we got to think, do we want to go a certain direction? Because if we do, we can come all the way in. We can go over to the hornblower, unpause it. And then here we can decide, go north or go south. I think I'm going to say, go north. Ombu doesn't trust your command. Oh, Ombu, Ombu, you don't trust me. So yeah, although he didn't listen, he has still gone north. So that's good. I do need to try and get his trust up. 
So if we unlock an Ombu Doctor and then we pet Ombu, that will increase his trust in us. So we'll perhaps look to do that. Anyway, we need to. We still need the resources to build the houses. I think we do actually have enough housing for everyone now, so that's good. Oh, and look down here. We've got our two scavengers ready to go. So if we if we zoom out, where do we want to send them? Oh no! Look what's ahead. A small poison forest. So we've got to be careful if we come over to that because that is going to be filled with toxic plants and stuff. And that can spread across our back and cause disaster. It's going to take three days to teach Ombu to sleep. But I think we should do that. Because usually what happens is you let Ombu like go where wherever and then he gets to there and he's like, oh, I'm tired now. And then he sleeps in the poison and then you're doomed. Yeah, maybe that's something I can do. Can I build another research thing? Will that make it quicker? It just costs 10 wood and 10 stone. Yeah, let's get another one involved then. High prioritize building that, everyone. Oh, we've actually got both the parties back now. Bottom right, that's both of them ready to go. So yeah, let's send one to a forest and then one to a quarry. Right, and then what I might do, because we're coming up to this small poison forest, as there's someone in this Ombu horn tower, if we zoom out down the bottom right, these are our little things. I want him to run through it. Um, we're actually we're, we're fairly far away, so I'm just going to test. I'm going to see if we tell him to lie down. Look, he's listening. He's like, oh, they want me to lie down. Shall I lie down? Do I trust them? Oh, and he is. He's stopping. He's having a little lay down. Yes, Ombu. So, oh, God, mind my village. Mind my village. <laughs> Be gentle. Anyway, he's laying down now. So that, like, that gives us time to, like, prepare for that. He's such a good dinosaur. Just lying there. Anyway, our scavengers have returned. He brought back 13 stone. Nice. I'm going to send them to this one. You, you can see how long each one takes. So, basically, the further away it is. Can you see that goes up? So, that's 10 hours away. This is 20 hours. That's one day, 10 hours. So you sort of want to do the ones like closest in range. So let's send a party there. All right, so we do have extra researchers now. So that should be going up pretty quick. I've got four unemployed workers. None of them are idle. They're all doing something. So I could get another research building just to speed it up. I think I might actually do that. So another research building. Get it built. And then in our kitchen here, we, we've been making berry muesli. But since we have, we've only got 28 berries, we've got 344 beets. So it might be worth if we start making some beet soup. Because yeah, that will turn three beets into five soups. You've had your muesli, everyone. You've got you got soup on the way. We're coming up to the poison. I'm scared. I'm scared. Send out my search parties. All right, so you can see Ombu's coming right up to the poison forest. So if we zoom in, you can sort of see it at the front. Yeah, it might be worth if we shove someone, if we unpause the horn blower again. It might be worth asking him to run through it. So, on boot, you got to run, mate. Is he going to listen? Oh, no, he doesn't trust me. He ignores your command. Why is he ignoring me? On boot, you've got to run, on boot. No. No, I don't think I will. Oh, now he's annoyed because of too many commands. Okay, you're a knob, on boot. Anyway, look, now we're in the poison. We've got to be very careful. Can you see that? That is a poison plant. We've got to harvest that. We've got to get rid of them ASAP. And look, that tree is infected. So basically anything that gets infected, we need to we need to get on it straight away because uh, infections will spread. Right. The next research, I think we got to do Ombu Doctor and get to the pet Ombu as soon as possible. Right, anyway, just scanning for poison. There's some poison. We got to dig that up. There's another one there. Oh, Ombu, you're laying down. Your ass is still in the poison, mate. I've asked him to walk. He craves sleep. You absolute pillar combo. So his ass is in the poison. That isn't fart. That is actually poison toxic clouds. Uh, they're going to be infecting our village. We need to we need to get on this fast. Where's our people? We've got to make sure no one gets infected. Otherwise, we will be turning on the village doctor. Uh, they just heal people. So that's something to keep an eye on. Oh, no, look. There's poison up here. Dig these up. Dig these up. And yeah, because we've got three research facilities, that is going up in no time. We're researching stuff really quick now. That is actually good. Are we digging up these plants? Oh, yeah. Nice work. Who's that? Who's that? Vespian. They just dug up one of these. Who's that one? Jonah Swanson doing the other infected tree. That's it. Look, he's punching it. He's punching the hell out of that tree. Okay, so is that all of the poison gone? I think it actually is. So I think we survived. I mean, can I get Ombu to move? He doesn't trust us. I'm just I'm just disturbing his sleep. Sorry, Ombu. 
was like, go away, I'm sleeping. Anyway, on the map over here, there's a mine. An abandoned mine that holds iron ore. Let's send a party over to there. Oh, look, a giant tree. After walking through the magical looking woods, they arrive at a clearing. A magnificent tree is standing in its center. Oh, what do I do? Grab our axes. There's plenty of quality wood waiting for us. This tree must be a special one. It's best to cut the trees around it. Or well, this tree has a magical feel to it. We'd better leave it. What does a giant tree do? What does it mean? I don't know what it means. I'm scared of like a giant tree man attacking me, if I'm honest. I might... Do I do the bottom or the middle? Because if I do the middle, what if I'm then just killing his children and then he still attacks me? Sod it, let's do the middle. An uneasy feeling creeps over your scavengers while cutting down the trees, but they carry on, fill up their reserves and leave. Okay, so perhaps magical trees, I should leave them in the future. Anyway, Ombu, ready to wake up now? Ombu accepts your command. Yes, okay, Ombu is waking up. Finally, he's getting his ass out of the stink clouds. Did anything else infect us down there? No, I don't think it did. Okay, that's good. That's something we do need to be careful of. I did notice in the research. There's this, which you might remember from when I played the demo, the decontaminator. Uh, this fights the spread of toxic plants using, well, flamethrowers, basically. Anyway, we're currently researching how to pet Ombu, and then we should be able to get our trust up with him. Now then, ooh, coming up, do we go, do we go north or south? So if we go north, we stay in this climate and there's food up there as well. If we go south, there's a sleeping spot and then people. I mean, there might actually be people after the food. So I'll probably wait till we get a bit closer before I decide. But if there is people after the food, like on this north road, I think I'm going to tell them to go north. Yep, look, I see people. Okay, we're going to tell Ombu, go north. Ombu doesn't trust your command. Yeah, but still, go north, mate. <laughs> Oh, look, our scavengers have returned from the mine. They brought back six iron ore. So that is a new resource that we haven't used yet. I don't think we can actually do anything with it. But yeah, let's see. Even though Ombu doesn't trust me, will he still go north? Yes, he's gone north. Okay, so that's good. Because those mushrooms, that's feeding spot for him. Which means I don't have to worry about growing mushrooms and feeding him myself. Very nice. So yeah, Ombu is tucking in down there. Meanwhile, our next research is done. I don't have any research points. So I can't go for the sawmill yet. But well, I think it's probably worth if we go for the Ombu kitchen now. And that means when we do start growing mushrooms, we can turn them into food for him and then feed him. Because there's not going to be these feeding spots everywhere. All right, so let's build some of our new stuff whilst we're here. So we've got the Ombu doctor. So I'm going to build that up here, I think. And then the dung collector. This has to go... Yep, it's got to go down this end. <laughs> no surprises there, really. So we'll shove that there. And that allows us to collect dung, which can be used for biogas and fertilizer. For now, we're sort of, we're going to be, we're doing okay. Oh, look, he's just slept. He slept on the border. Yeah, so I think Ombu, he sleeps a bit like me. So he gets like cold feet in the night. So he's got his feet and his tail like in the warmer climate. And then his top end is in the cooler climate. But yeah, we've got, we've just had these two decisions come in. So settlers, do we want to pick them up? Yeah, pick them up. So we've got two hungry people joining. That's fine. we got loads of food. And then the other one, sounds from deep below. Before even taking a step into the mine, splatters on the walls and shouting from within. Play that a tragic incident has taken place. Oh, what do we do? We can, we can leave them to it. We can hide behind a rock and wait. Or we can rush in. I don't really want to rush in. I don't want to lose any people right now. I think we might do the old sneak and wait tactic. So let's commit to that and see what happens. And yeah, sounds like there was a massacre. So we probably would have got killed if we did the top option. Um, but we get 20 iron from that. Decent. Sorry people that we weren't able to rescue. <laughs> that grows mushrooms for us. Then we can build an ombu kitchen. So if we shove that up there, that will turn the mushrooms into ombu food. And then once we've finished researching the trebuchet, that will allow us to fling food into his mouth, basically. Because, look, it's a long way down there. A long way down compared to my villagers. Uh, so I think we'll shove that up here. That means those trees will be cut down. That's fine. But first, can you see, look, we've just gone into the cold snap. So if we head in, it's snowing everywhere. So if we head over to, like, our beet farm, you can see the temperature. We're in 60% growth because they're all freezing. So basically, things are going to take a lot longer to grow in this cold snap. Thankfully, it's not going to last long. We're pretty much out the other side already. Yes, look, we can pet Ombu. So let's pet Ombu and let's see if Ombu likes that. You can see, can did you see that? Our balloon's going up. So are they literally flying over to his head and they're just going to like pet him on the head. Oh, this is bizarre. This is awesome. So look, they're landing on his head. And then have they given him a pet? What's going on? Oh, he's happy. Look, he's sticking his tongue out. He's like Paddy. His tail's wagging as well. That is a happy ombu. 
So I think he's gained some trust in us. So that's good. It means when we try and like ask him to do stuff, he should actually think about doing it now. All right, anyway, for our next research, let's go with the corn because people are complaining about that. Anyway, Ombu's found a sleeping spot, so he's having a little snooze there. I'm going to try and get everything else built. Right, anyway, Ombu is up and running, and if we look over here, the dung collector is ready. It looks like there's loads of dung down there. Look at all that poo. Anyway, my next research is the compost heap, so then we can actually do something with all that poo. And But for now, someone is working there, so that's Ace Rob 20 Unlucky, mate. <laughs> you will be collecting the dung. Uh, but that means we've researched our corn plantation, so we should probably get that going somewhere all right and then we got decision do we go straight or do we go right i feel like going north there's at least a sleeping spot there there isn't one down that way oh ombu doesn't trust me still i, I petted you ombu don't remember when i landed that balloon on your head he's got a short-term memory that ombu you knobhead you knobhead ombu oh but thankfully there is another sleeping spot way up there okay that's good that's cool we'll take that um but we are we're heading into the desert biome so we need to make sure we're covered for like water and food and stuff it's gonna get it's gonna get pretty tricky i think i'm hoping once we head into this desert we should actually have enough water to survive we've got like we got 186 but i might wanna it might be worth perhaps swapping these beets with cactuses so i've done that so i think they once the beets are harvest they should swap to cactuses and then that should be fine once we head into that new biome all right, so for the next research, let's get the sawmill done. That's going to take one of our research points, but we've been finding them in the shrine, remember, with our scavenger parsies. And then down here, I'm going to build a compost heap. So that should be able to make us use the all the dung we collect. Nice. Oh, I'm actually, we're in the desert biome now. So you can see temperature is hot, humidity is arid. So if we go to our water collectors, yeah, it's arid. I think they literally, they don't produce anything. So they're not actually producing any water. But thankfully, you can see our little cactuses are in. They're growing at 100% because they like being in the humid area. And they give us water, I believe. Meanwhile, over in this farm, the corn is going well. We've got two patrons doing the farming. So we've got not a non-non-non-non-architect, as well as planners over architects. Good work. Now up here, you can see, oh, look, our trebuchet is done. So we can feed Ombu if we want. Yeah, but at the moment, top right, he's only 5% hungry, so no point worrying about that at all. Alright, so our scavenger party has arrived at the dunes. After a long walk, the party passes a muddy spot in the desert. A brave scavenger wants to get a better look and inspects it. Oh no, he's in quicksand. Right, well, quicksand, definitely too dangerous to go in. Let's just try and find something to pull him out. They managed to find a rope just in time, back of the net. So we got, oh, we get water from the desert as well. Decent. Not a bad day in the office. Uh, can I pet Ombu again yet? Yes, we can. Let's go give him another pet. Balloons away! Right, so my next research, we're going to do the quarry. So that will get us loads of rocks. And the fact it's given us that means hopefully... Yes, we've got a sawmill. So we can grab a sawmill and put it near one of these big trunks. So if we shove it like there, put that on high priority, then we should be able to mine this wood. And there's 200 wood in there. That is really good. Over this way by the dung collector, the compost heap is now it's now constructed. So we can choose to make compost or biogas. I think for now we'll keep it at compost, but basically the biogas has to fuel flamethrowers should we get infected with toxic and stuff. You see, I'm just going through replacing my tents with my houses. And you can see some of these people, like Chloe Cornelisian. <laughs> Sorry for the pronunciation. Uh, all of her needs are met, so she's actually, she's very happy. Look, happy. Right, well, anyway, guys, with Ombu waking up, I'm going to say we'll leave it there for today. Hope you enjoyed another episode of The Wandering Village. Very excited to see where it's going to go. Still so many things to unlock. Uh, no idea what's going to happen with the map. But yeah, if you're still enjoying it, boost the like button. Let me know in the comments as well. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and on poo. Not on boo, on poo. Get it? Get it? Bye.